Hi, I'm Rockham Sakura, and this is A Queen Who. I don't gotta pitch my voice higher anymore. Let's go. Okay, so a queen that I would want to double date with, I would probably choose... I would probably choose Sugar Kane and her partner. I think they're very sweet. They're very wonderful people. And um, if we started flipping and flopping around, I can get by either one of them, I think. Right? Yeah. Yeah? Oh, okay. A queen whose music I actually listen to is Trixie Mattel. I actually listen to all of her albums. People compare me to Trixie all the time, so I don't actively put this on blast, but I love all of Trixie's albums. When I moved to San Francisco for the first time, I listened to her first album that she had, which is kind of like a breakup one. And I remember like sobbing into my drag, packing it, getting ready to go to SF, and I'm like, I'm gonna start my new life now. Thank you, Trixie. You're giving me the strength to keep going. Let's go. Oh, a queen who has the wildest imagination is definitely Crystal Method. Crystal Method is one of the most creative people I've ever seen. She has such a great use of color, great use of concept, um, such like a, she has a perspective that no one else has. I mean, if you want like imagination, like delusion wise, it's hiding in closet. But if you want imagination, like concept wise, it's Crystal Method. Okay, a queen who needs to get knocked down a peg, Heidi in closet. Or did you say you want me to peg? Cause I'll do it. No, I think she needs to get knocked down a little bit of a peg because uh, ever since she got Miss Congeniality, she's like, I don't know, something about her. She's too nice and charismatic. There's something deep and dark behind those eyes that we're just not seeing. I would say a queen who gets ready the fastest is probably Jasmine Masters. If you have ever been in LA, been booked in a gig in LA, or just been walking down the street in LA, or like seen someone doing makeup on the side of the street in LA and like some weird moo moo, it's probably Jasmine Masters. She can get ready in like five minutes. I've done a show where literally, literally, like maybe five or six minutes before it's time to perform, she like walks in and she's like, all right, Jewish, let's do this thing. And then she'll just put like, I don't know what she does. I like turn around for a second, she's already done, but I assume she just puts foundation in one hand and like shadow in another. And then she just goes like that, I swear. And just like that. And she looks good. She looks good. The rest of us would look like crap if we did that. I, I, half of the makeup's probably her teeth. A queen that scares me, I would have to say Cynthia Lee Fontaine because she's so nuts and off the wall. If you ever work with her, she's just like she is on TV. Like she'll be talking like this and then she's talking about the butthole. She'll be like in one breath, she'll be talking about one thing and then another thing and go all the way back to her cuckoo and her butthole. I don't know why. Also for the last three weeks, I've been obsessed with Cynthia Lee Fontaine saying butthole. Okay, so if I had to choose a queen to be with in a zombie apocalypse, first off, you're gonna need someone who's strong, so a man. So probably Britta Filter. Cause that's a man. A queen that loves sports is Jan. Jan absolutely loves sports. Um, I think on our season, she came out with a soccer ball. Her whole persona is based around like a cheerleader sort of type. Um, she loves to like, I think she like actually watches like actual sports sports. But if you're talking about a queen who loves water sports, that's Dahlia Sin. I would say the queen that has the biggest heart is probably Nikki Doll um, from my season. Uh, when I got eliminated, um, so I got eliminated second and Nikki got eliminated third. Uh, we used to stay up all night talking on the phone 
um, just about like what the future held for us. And she is the most supportive person I have ever met. And anyone who has ever met her, she has done nothing but give and give and give to emotionally or she's even given people money. Um, I just, I feel like the person with the biggest heart from the Drag Race franchise is probably Nikki Doll. She makes Nino West look like a troll with a knife, you know? For some reason, I feel like Candy Muse is an alien because she's the only person who can have a very full, distinct conversation with someone and no one will understand what she's saying. You know what I mean? Like, she, she's constantly speaking a different language. Like, if it could be like an alien language, but either that or she's eating a hoagie. But, I, I mean, like, also she's a little green. Like, undertones. I would say a queen that deserves her flowers. Um, oh, one of my best friends, uh, Militia Skunt from San Francisco, California. She is one of the best performers I have ever seen perform on stage. She is an amazing vocalist and she'll let you know about it. Um, and she is just flipping and tricking. She is, oh, you guys just need to go follow her. You need to watch her. There's a video of her doing a flip off of a stage, hits a sprinkler on the roof, the sprinkler explodes open and then water comes gushing down all over the stage. And you know what she does? She doesn't call 911 sickening but then she puts her head underneath it to kind of like catch it a little bit just so she can have a sickening moment it did not work but i still appreciate the effort she said she couldn't hear anything and i think her wig fell off but she still deserves her flowers thank you for watching please make sure to like and subscribe to the peg youtube channel did I do good yeah mama did good